Oh. Well, if you don't want to share, then I should just I have a CI going. embedded with them. So who is the CI or confidential informant that Jenny is referring to? Let's do some research, shall we? So if you watch the show for any amount of time, you'll notice that Blanca is from um, the previous episodes. And she has been trying to take down uh, James St. Patrick and Tyreek for quite a while. They met briefly and it was going to end there until Jenny uh, divulged a certain piece of information that got Blanca's attention. Well, if you don't want to share, then I should just I have a CI going. embedded with them. So at that point, Blanca is more than willing to help Jenny take down the crooks that are running these organizations in New York. Gotta do something to get these fucking killers off the street. But it appears to me that Blanca doesn't fully trust Jenny. And here's why. You really have a CI embedded in their organization? Yeah. So that one line right there pretty much tells me that she doesn't completely trust Jenny, but she is taking a leap of faith. But that's not what this video is all about. I was watching the episode and I was trying to figure out who exactly the CI is, but I have it narrowed down to two people. It's either Tyreek's roommate and best friend, Brayden, or his girlfriend, Effie. Here's why I think it's either one of the two. Suspect number one is Brayden. After Brayden admitted to setting up the drug app, he was forced to take a position in his father's company, making a whole lot of money and keeping himself out of trouble. So if he was making money hand over fist, why exactly would he go back to the drug game? And take note, he's the one who set up this meeting between Tyreek and Kane. Check it out. Me, what the fuck? You told me Kane needed to talk to us about the business and it had to be in person. <laughs> me talk to you? Y'all hot as fuck right now. So that's point number one. He set up the meeting between these two. Let's check out point number two. Okay, well, I may have exaggerated a little, but you know, I wanted to talk about keeping the operation going. So why exactly would Brayden want to continue with the drug game? Like I stated earlier, he's making money hand over fist in his father's company. I'm rich, bitch. But I think this may be part of his parole is to work with the police to take down Tyreek and the other drug dealers in the city. I don't just want to get out the business. Now let's discuss Effie and why she might be the CI. So in this scene, Tariq is talking to Effie about the new connect that found him. He doesn't want her anywhere near the situation because the lady they had to deal with is very dangerous. Take a listen. I'm trying to keep you out of this, okay? This, this new connect, she's dangerous. And we've all witnessed just how dangerous Noma is. But Effie doesn't seem concerned in the least. Why do you think that is? I mean, she's completely transparent about the fact that she doesn't need Tyreek to protect her. Listen. It's cute and all, but I don't need protecting. What I do need is money. So if this new connect has some product, let me help you move it. So I had to kind of raise an eyebrow there the first time I seen it. She doesn't need his protection, probably because she already has police protection. And just like Brayden, she's very interested in being in the drug game with Tyreek. Could that be she's trying to take him down? I mean, does anyone ever get the chance to say no to you, Effie? Why would you want to do something stupid like that? So who do you guys think the confidential informant is? Who's the CI in power? Let us know in the comment section below.